hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm back with uh, the record of ragnarok episode number two all right um the previous episode it was uh, kind of the prologue and i kind of said uh like you know my impressions on how this show has been adapted uh, as i said i feel it felt like it was kind of normal average mediocre obviously i'm a little bit disappointed but i cannot judge it unless and until i see this episode because today's episode is going to have the actual action parts and uh, another thing i thought about it you know like i, I after like uh, re watching yesterday like you know uh, watching episode number one i thought about it and i kind of realized that a bit of the fault kind of lied with us the fans you know because we overhyped this thing up so much and like i don't blame like you know because i also was like so excited i also overhyped this thing and i don't blame our like you know like the people who overhyped them because i am also one of them and i can don't blame them because the manga was so lit you know like at least i'm sure a lot of fans and i also expected uh you know a good animation team to actually pick this up do it properly because it, it was popular it was not as if like it was not popular it, it was a very popular uh manga but still this happened like that's why like i i like i really was confident i i thought that like okay like they're going to adapt this i'm sure they, they're going to do a great job the battle things will be amazing i never expected something like this happening like you know like that's why i think because like you know we kind of had an ex expectation so high up that like seeing an like you know the adaptation like this kind of breaks our heart and kind of makes us sad and disappointed so i'm sure people who knew nothing about this manga who did not read about this manga and you know watched this for the first time they had an amazing time i'm sure about it uh, even though the animation was sub subpar, you know, and everything was kind of clunky in a way, still I'm sure like all of them would have an amazing time. So yeah, like I think our expectation kind of was a bit too high. That's why it feels so bad. So I'll I'll try to keep an unbiased, like you know, unbiased. Um, what do you call it? Unbiased person? Uh, no, unbiased. Um, like form and i try to judge this as much as i can without any biasness you know so let's see what this episode brings and oh also another thing as i said before i kind of forgot a few things i checked the manga out again the first chapter and i felt as if they if something was missing and i was correct they i think they skipped two scenes one scene was uh like the scene which shows us how crazy zeus is like, you know like in the manga if you go check the manga out you'll see what i mean uh, it shows us how crazy zeus is in the first chapter only and they kind of skip that portion and another episode uh, like scene was the whole scene with the incubus uh, brunhild like you know encountering the incubus it was kind of a short scene but still so these are the two little scenes they kind of skipped i don't care about the whole incubus scene but i think like that they should have put the zeus scene in it you know like just to show like how much of a <laughs> like eccentric crazy old guy he is <laughs> so yeah i think they like you know by skipping that they kind of like messed up in a way but yeah so anyways let's start without further ado let's get started this is episode number two of the record of ragnarok so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one, go. <clears throat> All right, there you go, the opening. <laughs> the opening is another amazing thing <laughs> about this show. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh 
Oh. This portion as well. This portion is so amazing. In the, the way the whole song kind of shifts. <laughs> oh, another thing they did not show us, and I think they did a correct job of not showing us that, is the roster, you know, of the participants. In the manga, they, I think they showed that in the first chapter only, but they did not show it here. I think they did a correct job because that keeps the suspense, you know, worthy opponent. Okay, here we go. So let's see how the fight, they animated the fight. Ooh. Excuse me. <coughs> okay. All right. Ha, <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Zeus. <laughs> Damn. Oh, electric shock. Okay. Oh, yeah, th this bit. <laughs> Look at them. Uh <laughs> yeah, this stance, okay. Rufus is like looking at... Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're like yawning and everything. <laughs> you know what th this scene reminds me of? Like, you're gonna see what happens after this, so... <laughs> I'm not sure if like you know if in the actual Norse mythology something like this actually happened. I'm not sure about it. Like you know all these like the frost giants come and attack. 66 giants. But I'm sure you guys actually realize what this reminds you of. 
you know i'm as i said like i'm not sure if something like this actually happens in the mythology but you know Oh boy. Why is everything in slow motion? Like, like I, I get it. Like, this kind of like a flashback. So, probably they're trying to make. Make us feel that, like, you know, by like slowing everything down. But it feels weird. Yeah, like, like this scene, look, like, it's like slowly, slowly happening. Like, I don't, I think this was a bad decision on their part, like, they should have made it like, you know, normal animation here. I don't know, it's, it's just my opinion. <clears throat> oh God, <laughs> that face. Wow. Damn, like the <sighs> Oh my God. Ah, well, <laughs> they're still like knock knock. Is anyone home? <laughs> Oh, it's that guy uh, who, who's cheering for Thor. And there he is. <laughs> Wait, he did not know that was Thor? He's like... <laughs> Thor just came in and opened the door. <laughs> And the giants are like... The giants are so happy, like... Look at them. They don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Late reaction. <laughs> They're like standing and suddenly they see their... Stomachs being pulverized. Wow. <laughs> bored whoa yeah this is when he does like you know takes that stance <laughs> like, imagine his hip strength <laughs> you know wielding more immunity and kind of doing that <laughs> oh my god Wow. Hmm. Instant kill technique. Thor's hammer, I think. Wasn't it? Something like that. Whoa.
<laughs> ah, there you go, Tall Samar. Whoa, this is cool. This is a cool little effect. Damn. Ho! Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> that was unexpected. I didn't expect that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well... Mm. And oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, okay. Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, this happened. I forgot. He actually wounded him. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> his mustache is floating in the wind. <laughs> oh, wow, it's. <laughs> Zeus is <laughs> that face. <laughs> That's the face of a proud comrade, you know. Ye yeah, this is fun. <laughs> oh, it's a waste that you're mere human. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's like the best compliment you can get from a god. <laughs> Oh, this is a backstory, yeah. Of your food. In the Mongol. Damn, look at him. That's red hair, isn't it? The horse. Yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Imagine strangling a bear! <laughs> Hmm. You're of Hosen. You're of Hosen. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's the strongest.
more than 30 years of traveling. There's no one else stronger than him. Hmm. His problem is kind of similar to Saitama's problem. <laughs> you know? Like, I. <laughs> Uh. Oh, this is a uh... cow cow. I think that's how its name is pronounced. Okay, I don't know act the actual history. Like, like, I wondered about this when I read the manga. Like, did he? Okay. <laughs> the face. <laughs> I'm so bored I could die. Wow. <laughs> okay. Hermes is like Calm down Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, his weapon is a human weapon. And Thor's weapon is a divine weapon. So, that's why. <laughs> oh boy, I I'm looking forward to Brunhild's face here. <laughs> Look at that face. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> With a creepy grin. Okay. <laughs> well, this is perfect for, like, you know, fighting with the gods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, Brunel's face is weird here. What, what, what is this? Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Excuse me. Ah. <laughs> the face. <laughs> oh my god. And there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. I forgot their names. Uh Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Ah, there you go. Oh, oh is this the opening? Uh, sorry, ending. Oh, these are like the uh, yeah yeah yeah. These, these are the the scenes of the heroes. Yeah, I think so. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it's a nice ending song. But I, I prefer the opening, you know, more than the ending. The opening is amazing. Okay. That's the end? Yep, that's the end. Okay, so, alright. First things first. Like, I said, like, I'll give my actual impression after watching this, uh, the second episode. Now, here's the thing. Um, I think it's okay. You know, like, I thought it would be even worse than this. I felt it was fine i guess kind of as i said it's kind of average and i think like the people like you know like I, i've seen a lot of people kind of say that oh this is the worst thing that has ever happened you know like kind of like say stuff like that ex exaggerating i think that's a bit exaggeration but like obviously i'm not content with this like because like i expected a lot better than this that's that's the, the hard fact here but i have to like say that it's not that bad that you'll be like oh my god this is the worst thing in the world it's nothing like that you know as i said it's average it's mediocre it's kind of meh that's just it but it's obviously not so bad that you'll have to completely like you know like you'll be like oh this is like the worst thing ever that has ever existed no obviously not that i think like people are kind of reacting like that because as i said like you know we had high expectations for this and like if like like and it became kind of kind of like an average anime so i'm sure a lot of people is disappointed and that's why like you know people are kind of like acting like this because like they thought this would be like be one of the amazing shows like you know this would be on par with attack on titan something like that like i also had that kind of uh uh you know like <clears throat> like an expectation like i also thought that oh maybe this will be like obviously not on attack and titans uh what do you, what do you say quality but something close to that i thought you know maybe the battle scenes will be amazing and something like that like i'm sure like it, it would have been like like not too like you know like not to uh like what do you call it undermine the uh, uh 
anim- animation studio that did this like i'm sure they like d- did their best but i think that if this was done by some others like you know like studio who are actually accustomed to these type of battle stuff for example um with studio mappa madhouse you know like madhouse could have also done it I, but i nowadays i don't really see madhouse doing stuff so i guess nowadays mappa is doing a lot of things so uh mappa or like uh anything else like you it would have been it would have been amazing if ufo table did this <laughs> like you know this would have been out of the world but like otherwise as i said with studio mappa um uh madhouse uh, any other studio who were doing like you know amazing uh like uh amazing job in battle type of uh, uh, shows which are like concentrated around battle stuff like those type of studios uh, i'm not even sure like you know uh <clears throat> just a sec i'm not even sure what ma- like you know anime this studio did like the the studio that uh, adapted this the studio that adapted this is graphinica and uh, you know like <clears throat> they have done a few jobs but they, it was kind of like uh, with some other like studio for example uh, i can see like they did helsing uh, helsing ultimate but that is alongside madhouse like you know madhouse uh, another like i can see another studio here satellite and then graphinica like three of them did helsing ultimate so like obviously like madhouse was there so helsing ultimate is amazing has any amazing animation but <clears throat> I can't see any show, any anime that they did. Okay, they did Juni Tyson um, alone. And I, honestly speaking, I did not see Juni Tyson, so I can't say. But <coughs> so yeah, I can see like you know they don't have much animes under their uh, wing. So yeah, I don't know like i'm sh- like you know I-, I can see that they tried you know they tried to like one thing i can see they tried to did but do but it kind of failed in a way is that they tried to copy the manga art style you know which i appreciate i really appreciate like you know they did not try to change that but you know in in few portions it's kind of is weird it's like looks weird for example brunhil's face sometimes looks very weird and <laughs> you know like uh like that's a thing that i think they tried to do but kind of failed in a way so that's one thing and as i said like the animation is not good in any way like you know like as we saw like the, it seemed as if the animation was going in slow motion you know they're kind of doing very simple job it's, it's definitely not like a battle anime should go you know battle anime has fast paced animation fast paced fighting and all those stuff like those like that is something that kind of constitutes makes a battle anime which obviously this show lacks completely and i thought it would have those kind of things when like you know the trailer came out and we kind of saw all the trailers and stuff because the trailers looked amazing and <clears throat> you know like obviously the trailer did not show us anything so we were unable to guess how it was <clears throat> going to go you know the animation but still like i thought that maybe <clears throat> because this is like a really popular manga they're going to do something amazing with it unfortunately i think they failed i'm sure they also like you know tried their best as i said but they were unable to um provide it, it properly they and, you know they could have t- t- taken their time like they like you know they could have taken their time and did this i don't know if that would have helped but like i think like the uh, <coughs> record of ragnar the anime when it was announced i thought that it would have taken a lot of time i thought that this anime would probably come out next year but they like just like decided to uh, release it all at once in july uh, sorry in june so i was really surprised obviously i was happy that it was coming out quicker but i was very surprised as well and now i think that maybe they should have taken their time you know maybe they could have done a better job with it uh but i don't know like i i have no idea about these kind of things <laughs> like you know like how the scheduling goes and all that stuff i'm sure they had their own complications so they were forced to do a quick job 
so yeah anyways but <clears throat> as i said my impressions of this episode is that it's okay it's definitely not as bad as people are kind of like you know saying that oh this is the worst thing definitely not like that neither it is good like as i said it's kind of average and like yeah it's okay like one thing i really appreciate is that i i was i had kind of a little bit of a fear that i thought they were going to skip stuff thankfully obviously this is the second episode there's a lot left but up till now they're doing it faithfully you know the adaptation is kind of faithful up till now i'm not sure if that's going to change later on i have no idea but up until uh, you know, episode two they are kind of following the manga properly and not skipping stuff kind of so like you know like this uh, everything that this episode had the manga had and like you know they kind of properly showed us that there's one little complaint i have i kind of said that in the previous episode as well that it feels a little bit dragged i i think they should have like you know increased uh the speed of everything what's happening a little bit more you know like <clears throat> like uh like this is a 20 how much 24 minute episode okay like whatever happened in this episode these 24 minutes they could have done it in 18 minutes like not much but not like you know uh, like a little bit amount like uh, they could have like increased the pace a little as i said this 24 minutes and uh, like you know episode could have been done in 18 minutes and i think that would have been a very pleasant pace like it seems as if everything is kind of going in a very slow motion way so that's a little bit of uh like you know like a complaint you can call it i have and otherwise it's all okay i guess like normal kind of as i said i'm a bit disappointed but okay like nothing else you can do you know it's already out so like i hope like i don't know if they're going to make a new another season because uh, people are pretty mad at this you know i'm not sure if they're going to do a next season but if they do a next season I pray like you know I, I I'm really praying that they do it properly you know like 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 take all the like you know criticisms that people are giving them and do a better job next time I really hope they do that because as I said like a lot of people had a lot of expectations for this including me so like it kind of is disappointing that this turned out to be like this so yeah <clears throat> and obviously like uh the actual stuff happens from the next like you know um uh battle this battle is okay like you know but it's definitely not my favorite battle in the manga as i read the next battle that's going to happen is like you know is my most like not most but it's one of my favorite battles and i'm looking forward to that you know like uh like yeah like this like when i read the manga like when ryofu and thor happened you know i was kind of like okay it's a fine like you know it's okay kind of okay i, I was not that much excited but when the next battle came out which is adam versus zeus yeah i forgot <laughs> i forgot his name for a second there um adam versus zeus that was exciting that was really exciting you know and then there's another battle obviously these are all spoilers um uh then there's this another battle which i am really looking forward to which is jack the ripper versus heracles you know that's another battle oh sasaki kojiro's battle as well that's another amazing battle like uh like you know like all these battles are really great but i think the weakest of all the battles is probably um thor versus ryofu i don't know why but it, it's kind of okay for, for me like nothing like too exciting but after those battles like real like great stuff starts happening so yeah and as i said before if you guys have not checked the manga out and if you are interested in it you should definitely do so because the manga is amazing you know like the manga is really amazing and uh, it's like really one of the best like the storytelling is also quite great right quite impressive i have to say especially in the later portions and uh, yeah, obviously i'm talking with my major knowledge like as i said i read up until shiva's portion like so i'm talking with my major knowledge i'm sure a lot of more chapters came out after that i've not read those things like you know those chapters so yeah anyways so as i like nothing much to say about this episode i kind of said that like all my uh like you know like criticisms and all the things that 
uh, I felt and uh, <clears throat> as I said uh, one thing I appreciate is them trying to actually keep the um, manga like you know uh, the, the manga drawing style they try to keep it and i'm like i think that's quite good that they try to do that because a lot of uh, adaptations kind of like you know like do their own thing change the art style you know manga's art style the manga and the anime does not look even alike like that's weird so i think they try to keep it as best as the manga's art style but obviously it was a difficult job because like you know, this is an anime and they're trying to keep the manga's art style so it's difficult and that's why like you know in bits and portions it kind of looks weird their faces but i appreciate their effort and uh, another thing that i like you know like the whole flashback portion where we see the asgard bit uh, i think that they could have done that a proper normal animation i i could understand what they were actually trying to do because that was like uh like you know a, a, a flashback kind of section they tried to like you know like show us still images and how you know flashbacks actually go like you know like black and white flash flashbacks like still images actually slowly slowly moving but i don't i don't know i it it feel kind of awkward in that like you know in that section as it seemed as if the giants were moving in slow motion like you know they were kind of going stopping going stopping it, it looked kind of awkward so i think like it would have been a better idea to actually properly animate that portion but uh, yeah like unfortunately but it was okay you know like i, I like I, I can kind of understand what they were trying to do but it looked kind of awkward at that moment at least i feel it like that i'm sh uh, I, I don't know how others felt but that's like my opinion and uh, yeah <clears throat> otherwise like you know like thor used his ultimate like thor's hammer that technique and we saw uh, oh another thing i wanted to say like and that's another thing that i kind of got curious when i was reading the manga as well um, the portion where Ryofu actually like you know like we we'll see his story while he, how he becomes the strongest and like you know in the end he kind of pleads to Kao Kao and says that I'll give you cavalry and everything like you know no, no like I, I'll make you uh, what did he say like I'll make you the strongest or something like just give me cavalry and like you know uh, give me another chance to fight or something like that like like did that actually happen in the real history that like you know that's another thing i was quite curious about when i was reading the manga as well <clears throat> excuse me so like you know like did that really happen in actual history <clears throat> uh, the next portion where they, like you know they said like no they were, he was actually bored i think that's that's that, like obviously something like that did not happen i doubt it like you know so i think that's <clears throat> that's an original addition of the anime and the manga but the portion before that, like, you know, when we see Ryofu going to, uh, like, you know, was going to be hanged, the thing that he said, like, you know, he kind of pleaded for his life. Like, I'm curious, like, did that really happen in the actual, you know, in history? So, yeah. <coughs> and then in the end, we get to see the little, uh, oh, they did not yeah they did not mention it here oh okay i was going to actually say what they did you know like uh with the weapon like the actual thing that they tried to say is like what zeus was curious about the divine weapons like gods have divine weapons and humans have normal human weapons so divine weapons are supposed to completely pulverize pulverize the normal human weapons and normal human weapons are unable to hurt gods who are divine beings so he was curious as to how you know the slash happened how uh, thor got hurt so like you know that's what that was what um uh, brunhild was actually explaining when she said that the valkyries like you know they they summoned the valkyries uh, i think the 13 or the 11 uh, all her their sisters they uh, summoned and they did not say actually what they do which i'm sure they're going to do in the next episode so like yeah I'm, I'm going to talk about that in the next episode what actual like you know thing they did with the human weapons how they actually um you know it affected uh thor who is a divine being so yeah that's another like interesting like that like that thing is like the main thing of this manga like you know what they're going to tell us in the next episode how uh like you know the valkyries all the valkyries are actually involved in this 
So yeah. <clears throat> and that was it. So yeah guys, that was it. So um so yeah, like I'm going to kind of summarize my impressions here. Um as I said, like I'm neither too happy nor too too disappointed. It's kind of okay. Like, you know, obviously it, it, it did not reach our expectations, but it's not that bad. Like, you know, like I, I'll give it like a uh, halfway mark, like, you know, six out of 10. Like, you know, like I, I can feel that they tried. Like, that's one thing that I can actually feel that they actually tried to do it, like, you know, properly, but because of something, they probably were unable to do it the way they actually intended it to. So, like, you know, like, I can see the effort that they actually tried to put in it because like the the animation team whoever like you know like all like this this is the same for all the animation teams you know like they they try their best to provide but actually what messes like you know the ad adaptation up is the amount of time they have you know the amount of resources the amount of budget they have those are the things that actually mess up a good anime adaptation like it's not the fault of the animators nor the people who are working behind this they're giving their all you know like they're giving their best but usually the time limit the budget this messes things up so it's not their fault like i get it but you know like people had a little bit of expectation and it kind of is sad to see how like you know this became like like you know like whenever people will now talk about uh, like record of ragnarok you know like they're going to say oh that anime that bad animation like that like you know let down of a show something like that they're going to refer to this as that which is a real shame because the manga is the best thing that has ever happened so like a, a bad kind of like you know image got stuck with this like that's sad like you know even like if they like you know do you know actually in the next season i hope there'll be another season i don't know like uh like seeing this i i'm not sure whether they'll have another season or not but if they have another season and they actually do it really well uh, that will be okay like you know it will be kind of like a redemption thing that they do and but otherwise i don't see like you know any ways of salvaging this so yeah anyways so yeah as i said like my impressions okay mediocre that's just it like i'm neither too happy nor too sad it's, it's kind of okay like I, I can obviously like watch this but but if they start skipping stuff i'll i'll be really like you know pissed at that like that's one thing that i really do not like like the adaptation skipping stuff from the manga that that's one thing i, I really do not appreciate so unless and until they skip stuff i think it'll be okay for me like you know like uh, it'll be fine so let's see <clears throat> so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to uh, record of ragnarok episode number two so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also sub uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed uh, comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out and if you want like you know agree with my impressions my opinion and all like and if you have any kind of like you know things to say uh, any kind of uh, things you want to express about this adaptation how you like you know felt about it be sure to comment down below so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week uh no not next week sorry <laughs> i'm accustomed to saying that I'm, i'll see you guys next week i'll see you guys next day with another episode of record of ragnarok so until then goodbye and have a nice day